Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech-related content. So, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a DNS server on a Synology NAS. Okay guys, so once you have your Disk Station Manager up on the screen, the first step you need to do is install the DNS server from the Package Center. So let's open the Package Center now and get that process started. Once the Package Center is open, on the left side, click on All to display all of the packages that are available, and then we'll just scroll down until we see the DNS server utility, and here it is. You can see we have an install button, so let's go ahead and click that now to get the program installed. All right, guys, you can see now we have an open button instead of an install button, so the program is installed. You could obviously launch it from here, but I'm going to close the package center for now and show you other ways to access the program once it's been installed. You can come up to your main menu in the upper left hand corner here. You can see it's notifying you that you have one new program installed. So let's click and open the main menu. And here you can see among your list of programs, here's the DNS server that we just installed. Now you could always go to the main menu to access it when you need to, or you can add it to your desktop as a, short, as a shortcut just by right clicking on it and saying add to desktop. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to access it right here to get into the setup process. All right, guys, it's a pretty simple process to get the DNS voting server working on a Synology NAS. The first thing we need to do is come over to the left window and click on resolution. Next, let's put a check in the box next to enable resolution services. And then we're also going to enable forwarders by checking that box as well. The next step would be to enter your external DNS servers here. And I'm going to leave this set to uh, forward first, which is basically saying to um, the server that anytime a request is made, check these DNS servers to return the resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now you can see here that it says settings applied. Now, just a note on the external DNS servers. You can use DNS servers from your own um, local IP, ISP, or you can use public DNS servers, whatever best suits your needs um, in the situation that you have at hand. Okay, so now the DNS server should be set up, but I need to point my computer to the address of the Synology NAS. So let's do that. All right, guys, so I'm just going into my system preferences, coming to the network icon, over to advanced, and over to the DNS tab. And we want to change these DNS servers and point this computer to the DNS server on the Synology NAS. And we'll press apply. And now you can see here that this computer is pointing to the 192.168.25.60 IP address, which is that of the Synology NAS. Okay, so let's bring up a command line. And let's test out and see if the uh, DNS server is actually working. So we'll do a couple of lookups. We'll go to google.com first. Okay, and there you go. You can see it return the uh, response for Google. So let's try Synology. And there you go. You can see we got a response from Synology. We could even do a reverse lookup. And you can see we have a result here and it uh, links Synology.com or associated Synology.com with the IP address. Okay, so it seems that the DNS server on the Synology NAS is working, but let's just confirm and let's have some fun. Let's go back to the DNS server and let's disable resolution services. And let's do a couple of lookups now. We'll bring up the um, command line one more time. 
let's just clear the screen and let's uh, let's do a lookup. Let's look up Google again. And there you can see this time it says server can't find google.com. It's refused. And the same will happen most likely if we try looking up Synology and we get the same result. Okay, so let's go back in one more time and let's enable the DNS server again on the Synology NAS. And we'll bring up our command line one more time and we'll do another lookup. And you can see now uh, with the DNS server uh, enabled again, we're getting a response from uh, the Synology NAS DNS services. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick and simple guide to set up a DNS server using a Synology NAS on your network. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links if you need something. It doesn't change your price, but it does help us out here at the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.